Hello guys and welcome back to Ask MB YouTube channel where we are posting multiple videos or various type of videos on your CONT section for your CAT 2024. Not only for CAT exam but also for SNAP and NMAT like all other MBA entrance exams. Now let's try to understand how to approach this kind of question which is from your most important topic that is algebra. The question is how many factors of 2 power 4, 5 cube and 7 power 4 are odd numbers. Now the same kind of question I have already posted on the same YouTube channel. You have to, I would suggest you to go back and watch that video first and then come back to understand this kind of question. The question is how many factors for this number are odd number. Now any number which is supposed to be factor of this particular number must be in the form of 2 power a or 5 power b into 7 power c. Now this is the general form of any factor which is or any number which is supposed to be factor of this number after multiplying this number you will get a proper number which a will be factor of this number so literally you don't have to simplify all these things right we need to understand whenever you see this kind of question it has to do with your indices that is a b and c the nature of indices whether it has to be odd even or perfect square now these kind of terms will be given in the question so surely you will understand it now for now the question is if this is the form of any number which is supposed to be factor of this number now second it has to be odd number right now after multiplying this number you must be getting odd numbers now you must start thinking when I will get the odd number first and first thing that 2 power a cannot be the proper value it has to be 1 or you must neglect this value why because if you multiply any number with 2 you will get any one number which is not supposed we have to do here right so we must follow the values for a a can take only 0 that is only one value in that position only for example if you put a equal to 0 you will get 2 power 0 as 1 right in that case only we will be able to manage odd numbers otherwise you will get even numbers after multiplying this by 2 alright so for a this can take only one value alright now let's understand the values for b highest value for b or the value of b is 3 so till 3 how many possible values b can take that is 0 1 2 and 3 now there are four possible values for b that can take likewise let's see what about c c the highest values for c is 4 which is given in the question i am taking this value directly from this question i hope you are getting my point now for c possible values are 0 1, 2, 3 and 4. So therefore these are 5 values right. Now again I am repeating these terms. A and B and C must be in the form of odd digits otherwise you will be getting an even number. That's why we have considered A equal to 0. Therefore A can take only one value that is 0. In case of B there are 1, 2, 3 and 4 possible values and for C 0 1 2 3 4 so 5 possible values that c can take to make that entire number add your odd number right so after multiplying this 4 into 5 4 numbers from b and 5 numbers from c you will get 20 possible odd numbers which will be factors of this particular product so in that case your option c will be correct answer